Okay, so Andre Ryu, noted user of the violin, is coming to Australia and we need to decide what we, as a country, are going to get him as a present. Wine? Done. One box or two. Oh, I'm not sure if we should get him wine in a box. What, just give him the bag? Okay, wine. Um, what region? Four. Marlboro? Nether? We could write him a song. Timey kangaroo you down, sport? <gasps> I love it. All right, let's go back to basics. Let's get him an actual present that people actually get each other, right? Like, um, what did you get your dad for Christmas? I got him an Andre Ryu CD. There you go. Great, I saw them in the shops the other day. They've got his name written all over them. We need to get him something that just says Australia. A t-shirt? No, like something that just screams Australia. A war veteran. No, nothing says Australia like a trip to Bali. We're spending money. He could buy a couple of tailored suits, wear them in his little shows. And cornrows. And those little clove cigarettes. And he could buy a bunch of pirated Andre Ryu CDs. Yeah, he could bring them into Australia, sell them off for a profit. Money in the bank. Oh, you're welcome, Andre. Maybe we could get him to touch a koala. Ah, I reckon he's already done that. Well, damn it, what do you get the man who's touched everything? Dinner with Merv Hughes? You wouldn't have touched him. I'm asking Jeeves. Oh, damn. You are kidding. Yeah, there's a picture of Andre touching Merv in Healesville Sanctuary in 2004. Right. Okay, people like it when you make them things. Yeah? What do we make in Australia? Um, people redundant? We could give him four weeks notice. Hello, Andre. We're giving you the flick, we could say. We could show him the door. Ah, I reckon he's already seen one of those. Damn it, you're right. He's Andre Rue. Oh, I feel like an idiot. He's seen everything. What is Australia known for? Our larrikin sense of humour. We could give him shit. Maybe we could push him into a river. No, a billabong. He could get taken by a croc. Oh, it's starting to get a bit touristy. Now obviously we do everything that we can, but we can't guarantee that everyone's going to get eaten by a croc. What? We want our money back. What about Bob Hawke? He's got to be our highest ranking larrikin. We could get Bob to give him a day off. Does he still have that kind of power? If anyone's taken that authority off Hawkey, they'd be a bum. <laughs> <laughs> what if we just got him a brashes voucher? We well, see, I'm not sure if Andre Ryu even likes music. Is there some way that we could get him a voucher that allows him to buy the kind of voucher that he wants? A voucher voucher. I love it. He wears a lot of brown. Could we get him a voucher for something brown? I heard you say you like soft things, so I, I got you a voucher so you could buy something soft. You were right. I do like soft things. Guys, we could get him a hot lap in a Monaro at Calder Park. I have no idea what you just said, but I love a... We could get him a ride with Brocky. Oh, so sorry, mate. I've got some bad news. Oh, no, not Brocky. What about Mick Doohan? He kind of looks like Brocky. Yeah, we could tell Andre it's Brocky and he wouldn't know the difference. <gasps> we could get him some opals. What kind? The basketball players or the really ugly rock? Both. We'll send him down to an open cup mine with Lauren Jackson and the gang. To dig up the world's least precious, precious stone. And afterwards, they could shoot some hoops. We could invite Andrew Gaze. <gasps> and you know who Andrew Gaze kind of looks like? Gazy, g'day. Mate, how do you feel about being Mick Doohan's understudy in a Peter Brock lookalike Monaro hot lap with Andre Roux at an open cut mine? The opals will be there. Both types. He's in.